more refined moment during the Bills versus Bengals game on Monday Night Football. Buffalo safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed at the end of the play and recalled CPR in the middle of the field. The incident happened just minutes into the game's first quarter, right after Hamlin tackled T. Higgins to the ground. The 24-year-old appeared to get up from the stop just fine, but he seemed to lose consciousness as he got to his feet and crumpled to the ground. Medical personnel raced onto the field and according to the game's announcer Joe Buck, officials performed CPR on him for several minutes. He was eventually strapped to the backboard and loaded onto a stretcher. He was taken off the field in an ambulance. Players from both teams were visibly concerned for the defensive back. Josh Allen buried his face in his hands while Stephon Diggs had tears running down his face. Multiple other players were seen crying too. The Buffalo Bills just provided a health update on DeMar Hamlin saying they are starting safety spend the night in the intensive care unit where he still remains today. The team says DeMar Hamlin is still in critical condition. The Bills also sent a message to football fans across the world, writing, We are grateful and thankful for the outpouring of support we have received this far. DeMar Hamlin's family also released a statement saying, and I quote, want to express our sincere gratitude for the love and support shown to DeMar Hamlin during this challenging time. We are deeply moved by the prayers, kind words, and donations from fans around the country. The family says DeMar Hamlin has been receiving exceptional care at the hospital and they are appreciative of the help from healthcare professionals and first responders. The statement continued, We feel so blessed to be part of the Buffalo Bills organization and to have their support. We also want to thank Coach Taylor and the Bengals for everything they have done. Your generosity and compassion mean the world to us. The family asks everyone to keep praying for Damar Hamlin as he continues to battle back to health. Thousands of people have opened up their wallets in an effort to show love for Damar Hamlin following the Bills' defensive back scary collapse Monday night donating over $4 million to the football player's toy drive fundraiser. DeMar Hamlin initially started the charity effort back in 2020 in an attempt to gain fans so he could distribute toys to kids in need in Pennsylvania. His target goal was simply 2500 But in the hours after DeMar Hamlin suffered a terrifying medical emergency during the first quarter of the Buffalo Monday Night Football game against the Cincinnati Bengals, donations flooded in. In his note on the GoFundMe page, Damar Hamlin encouraged those who couldn't contribute monetarily to still help the cause, writing, We are accepting donated toys at a daycare center or simply spread the word by sharing this fundraiser on all your social media channels. Superstars like LeBron James, Tom Brady, and Drew Brees offering words of support as the 24-year-old fights for his life. LeBron took the podium after scoring 43 points in Charlotte against the Hornets and spoke passionately about Hamlin, sending prayers. LeBron James also talked about the NFL's correct decision to postpone the game. I realize you just won a basketball game. I'm not sure if you saw what's happened in the, uh, if, if you saw in the locker room what's happened with the NFL game. Um, they uh, they have suspended the game while waiting the player's condition. I was wondering if you can comment on your thoughts on uh, what happened. In is, uh, is that the right call, obviously? Well, obviously, I don't know, uh, you know, what happened. I've seen the play, but I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, my my thoughts and and super prayers goes up to the skies above uh, for that kid's family, for him, um, for, you know, that brotherhood of the NFL and everybody a part of the NFL family. Um, It's definitely the right call by either whoever made that call, Roger Roger Goodell, or whoever had an opportunity, the the authority to make that call, to suspend that. Uh, The safety of our of players in in all sports is always the most important. So, um, you know, it was a terrible thing to see. um, And and I wish uh, um, you know, nothing but the best for that kid, um, uh, for the city uh, of Buffalo, for the franchise of the Bills, um, and like I said, for the rest of the NFL too as well, and also the Bengals that was there, um, and, you know, playing in that game. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the NFL. I'm a huge fan of football. And, you know, you, you never want to see anything like that happen, um, even in that, the type of competition that they're playing in. Tom Brady also tweeted Tuesday morning saying, we are praying for DeMar and his family this morning in Tampa. Moments like this put into perspective what it means to play this game we love. Thankful for our communities in Cincinnati and Buffalo for the overwhelming level of care and support I know they will continue to provide. Retired quarterback and future Hall of Famer Drew Brees also expressed his concern for the second-year player out of Pittsburgh, writing, DeMar Hamlin represents every one of us and every teammate we have ever had. I have never met him, but I know him as a member of our brotherhood. My family and I pray for him and his family as he recovers. God be with him. Donovan Mitchell had a historic night Monday, scoring 71 points in an overtime victory against the Bulls. 
but the Cubs star made sure to offer his consent for Hamlin during his post game presser. Yeah. Thank you. Thank oh, you. I want to say I'm um prayers up for the for the bill safety man I, I heard about it, i didn't see it but you know i wish him and his family were praying for him all of us in the locker room kevin love actually hit me on it and make sure we we all want to from the cavalier organization we want to wish the best and and pray and if everything goes well so the nfl just announced that the cincinnati Bengals and the buffalo bills will not return to the field this week roger goodell made the announcement official just minutes ago saying he spoke with both teams and selected not to resume the matchup prior to week 18 the final week of the nfl season the league says it has not decided what to do about the game, and Week 18 will continue as scheduled. The league says it has been in regular contact with the medical team caring for Demar Hamlin, as well as the Bengals, Bills, and the NFL Players Association. So that's pretty much all you need to know about Demar Hamlin's situation. Continue to pray for him and his family as he fights for his life.